Hey guys! And welcome to our channel. So staying in another country for a consecutive three months is never cheap, especially if you, st if you plan to stay in Japan, regarded as one of the most expensive countries in the world. Now you probably wonder how do we manage to budget our food expenses well enough and still afford to eat out every single day? Well, we use several tactics that help us stay within our means and at the same time keep us entertained. In this video we're going to show you why you should make a trip to a Japanese supermarket at least once during your stay in Japan and of course take advantage of the reduced fresh food section. This was one of our first trips to a supermarket in Japan and probably one of our most exciting ones as well. We did find the same bargains in most supermarkets in different parts of Japan we have stayed in. So when you come to Japan, wherever you stay, you're also bound to find the same amazing fresh discounted food. And yes, get yourself a bargain and try discounted fresh sushi and sashimi that looks even better than the food served in some European restaurants serving fresh sushi. And we do it at least once a week and it's totally worth every single yen spent on it. Enjoy the video! And don't forget to subscribe! If you feel like you spend too much in Tokyo, or if you just want a bargain, uh, you should head out to one of those convenience stores, or actually a small supermarket. Live. Yes, yeah, live. And you could grab yourself a bargain uh, for half price. Yeah, I think it's like a couple of hours before closing time. They'll reduce uh, the the items that go out of date, uh, like most like, supermarkets would. Uh, but in this case, I've got uh, onigiri. Is it onigiri? Yep. Um, usually it's 120. And you could get it for 60. 60 yen. Which in uh, sterling. Which in sterling is only. Like 45p? It's only to be exact pence. Okay, about anyway, you probably, you probably anyway, so. get an idea of how cheap it is. And we're going, we're going to give you a little tour around the supermarket and so you can have a look at what sort of prices you can expect. These ones are quite good. And you'd be surprised but there's actually quite a few people hunting for bargains. So it's not just us being cheapskates, there's a few other cheapskates around. <laughs> Smart bargain hunters, not cheapskates. Well, in different places people would call us uh, differently, but we're just smart about budgeting. And especially that the food here is really fresh, so an evening won't really make a difference to the scrumptious food. So, no, I don't encourage you to come to Japan to be eating food which is reduced, but I say that if you really want to come to Japan and if you think that you don't have enough money, well, you probably do. Right, I think we're almost done with our almost midnight shopping. Yeah. Uh, on our scooters, I have to say that again, scooters, right? Uh, and it turns out that it's not just us shopping around at the same, at the same time. It's quite a few people. Uh, quite a few people, so the food is not really wasted in here. And the best thing about Japan is that the prices are heavily reduced at probably sometime maybe 9, 10 p.m. every day. About 50 percent. I think everything. Um, that goes off the next day or goes off but it doesn't actually go off the next day it's good to eat yeah. the next day but it's not good to sell for a supermarket they reduce it by half price so you can it's, grab yourself a real bargain here it's amazing and i mean next morning or during lunchtime you can have very fresh food in the supermarkets elsewhere that would still sell at a very original price yeah. whereas in here um it's no longer good to sell it at the price that you'd be buying in the morning. Obviously the most popular items have already been sold. Um, you've got some lovely yogurts here, desserts, some soba noodles. It's all empty now. Just a handful of, it looks like dim sum to me. 
Uh, that's probably, uh, I've actually inquired about that tofu. Um, yeah. Not too bad. So, what did we get? Uh, so, we got. Okay, I've actually asked about that. So, that's tempura um, with uh, vegetables. Um, and the orange parts are uh, carrots. And I think, um, I can't remember, I think it's bok, bok choy, uh, green parts. Okay, so we've got siu uh, mai. yep. The Something for Chinese taste buds. <laughs> uh, that's the potato crockets. Yep. Onigiri. Um, yep, that's the tuna onigiri. Uh, salmon, apparently. Salmon, sorry, the salmon. Times two. Ooh, looks good. For the price of one. Yep. And... Uh, Some more sushi. Vegetarian or vegan friendly sushi. Yeah, looks good. I Although mean, I think I'm not sure what's there in the middle. Mushroom. Uh, no, I think this one looks it's, it's looks a like crab stick. stick. Yeah. So a vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, and what sushi. else did we get? That's uh, it. Crisps. Yep. And uh, lemon a tea. Of lemon tea because there's only 160. Uh, yen here, which includes tax, but if you get it from 7 Eleven, it's like 150 for a small bottle, but like a 500 millilitre bottle. So, for another 10 yen, why not get three times as much? It's no brainer, really. Uh, I think we are missing eggs. Eggs, that's it. Oh, wait, I got some, uh, I got some dessert as well. Oh, yeah, um, I forgot about that. This is dessert, I think it's a uh, equivalent of our cheesecake. Oh, uh, so it appears to be. I've got some Japanese yakult. Oh, yep. Which is actually really cheap because yakult uh, back in the UK, you pay quite a bit for it. For this one, you get 12 bottles and it was 186 yen, including tax, I believe. Yes. So, so it's just over a pound. So tonight we are bargain hunters. Well, if you're staying in Tokyo, if you're staying in Japan for three months, You've got to be smart with your money. Otherwise, if we were big spenders, we'd be able to only stay about probably three weeks now. We'd be broke after. But because we're smart with our money, we'll stay for three months. Yep. So, yep. Off we go. To the two. Mama ki, mama ki. Baba ki, baba ki. Mama ki, mama ki. And this is Tarshu to die for. Like, guys, seriously, once you try ramen with that type of pork, which is the majority of ramen, but not all of them, the tonkatsu ramen, you're really gonna feel addicted to it. it it's just such an addictive type of meat. It's beautiful. And here's some more. Just so that you know, it's actually pork belly. divine Speak Japanese, it will be probably a little bit difficult for you to figure out what you're having. You just check against the price. Yeah. That'll be the easiest way to work out to see honest, whether you've been overcharged but more likely but, undercharged. Yeah, to be honest, I would just trust the machines here. I'm sure that the tills are charging the right price. Yeah, I don't think any of the staff members have actually made a uh, mess up with any of our orders, whether it's in the supermarket or restaurant. Yeah, not even once. No. <laughs> Unlike in other countries, which no. is uh, quite a common thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's start packing. So, we just finished our shopping and heading back to our kick scooters, which we left outside the supermarket. Yeah, we're going to carry them around with us, so before we leave them out, it's the supermarket unchained, unlocked. Yep. For and a change, here it is. as well. Untouched. Right where we left them, not even a single extra scratch. Um, if that was in some areas in the London. UK and other parts of the world, 
it'd be gone in the blink of an eye, but it's still here. Yep, and we didn't exactly take a minute in that supermarket, so we not took, too bad. We took like a good outcome. 45 minutes in there, so... No surprise, Japan is very safe. Exactly. Um, it's not even 7 o'clock. I've had this okonomiyaki about probably to 4 hours ago. And now it's discounted to 50% of its original price. It's just incredible. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just no longer fresh, apparently. So all of that is probably going to be reduced soon because the supermarket is shut, well, closes at 9pm. She's scanning literally everything here is going down in price. still can't get over it. I mean, three hours later, that was, sorry, three hours ago, that was full price. Now this is just over two pounds. I think two pounds thirty to be a bit more accurate. There's a lot of people looking around and trying to get some of the good deals that are available <coughs> and the beautiful thing about this is that people don't really barge through to get the best deals that are out there um, and they're not afraid to queue up either it's just like anyone anyone is queuing up So what did we get? Oh, I got a set. It was worth waiting literally about 10 minutes, maybe 5. It by 30%. It was already cheap enough as it was anyway. Yeah, no. It was under 3 quid. And now it's less than 2 quid for that. That's dinner for me. That's if you're indecisive. You can always just wait about. You got a seal mine. Seal mine. A lot of pork dumplings. I can't believe it's a pound. 148. Oh and we got uh, a sushi set. Yeah, look. <laughs> You can Loads forget about getting something like that back in the UK. It's just over two Where feet. anywhere else in the world you're definitely not going to get anything for that price. No. And yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a more, more of like a, of a social acceptance to, to go in and buy reduced priced items. There's the, nothing wrong with it. Well, the difference Pe is people, people appreciate... People here are really um, respectful. They don't and scrounge the, over it like some people in other countries do. They literally scrounge over it, but over here it's a lot more acceptable. People are respectful, they're polite, and they do it in an orderly manner. And I think it's embedded in Japanese culture that uh, people don't really like to waste things and waste food as well, um, since Japan is quite scarce in natural resources. Um, it's also known for preserving um, food or just taking advantage of Sarariman. I mean, it's crazy, but I love it. Absolutely love it. You don't really have to be ashamed of searching for bargains, and everyone does it. This is so amazing. Okay, we just finished our dinner and there's even more. This is insane. And even our food is on sale here too. Thanks for watching guys! If you liked our video, don't, don't forget, forget to subscribe! subscribe.